Friends, good morning. Uh, welcome. Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. Uh, the BBR experience, we call it. I said probably, I don't know. I've, I've said it for quite a long time that I was going to jump in that old pickup of mine and drive across Canada. Or to go to the Tin Man's. I said that. I did it. I did it. With Morgan, a friend of mine. A dear friend of mine now. Uh, friends, if you've ever done traveling and you got a YouTube channel and you try to get Wi-Fi and you try to keep your, your audience full of content, it becomes a rat race. I, I done my best, friends, to bring you snippets. And I, I actually, my idea was, friends, to bring you right through as we went. The whole thing. like It just does not work. It was so hit and miss, I'm not even going to talk about it much because you know it. If you've been there, you understand. And if you don't, believe it to be true. So, friends, here is some footage. I've got a ton. We're going to live this, this journey in the depths of what it was. But what we done, I told you, uh, I think earlier this year, maybe the start of the year, I've been running this channel for eight years and I've not done one sponsored video. I've not done any anything like that. Promotional things. Some kind, kind gentleman out of the goodness of his heart sent me a log splitter. Our good friend Easton made log splitters. <laughs> Brother, if you're watching, we are not done, you and I. Uh, I'll be seeing you at Bunyan. I hope you're going. But... Uh, you know what I mean? Th those types of things. Weaver, we did a. They reached out to me to help them with a with a with a faller's belt. We did a little bit of that, but there's really been nothing. Uh, but I've talked about uh, boots. Boots are something I can relate to. I have broken in many sets of boots, leather boots, five to seven hundred dollar, eight hundred dollar boots. That's what I've lived in for the past twenty five years in this industry. That is a thing of beauty. Uh, I don't even actually know how we hooked up. I think it was almost osmosisly. Big word for a logger. Um, Nick's boots. I have a set of Nick's boots that I'm breaking in right now. But you know what they were able to do? They were able to send the Nick's boots. I says, listen, guys, this is wonderful. I'm excited. As you all know, if you follow boots, handmade leather boots, uh, Viberg, I've been a Viberg man my whole career, and Dayton. Um, they just aren't making the boots anymore, friends. They're just not catering to the to the logger, to the to the woodman anymore. It says it on their website. They're just they're just they're just not doing it, which is a little bit sad for me. But I did get one final pair, a couple pairs actually. It's all on the channel or a little while ago. But anyways, regardless, I'm kind of shooting off. But there's a story to this, friends. There's a story to this. We're all so different. We, we have different needs in our footwear. Well, friends, they sent these boots to Tin Man's house for me. So that on my journey, after I went way east and on my way back, my Nick's boots were at Tin Man's. And I did an unboxing and I want to share that with you right now. And friends, I'm just going to say right off, right, right, right on the record right now. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So I'm breaking them in right now. Yesterday, I was out on this deck in the hot, hot sun like this right now with my dubbing. I'm a dubbing guy. Which actually, if you grab Dubbin and you grab Obanoffs and you put them side by side and put them in your fingers like oils and whatever you're doing, pretty much the same stuff. <laughs> so I've been a Dubbin man for years. Let's get into this video. Uh, it's all over the place. I'm so freaking excited right now that I'm at the Tin Man's house. I'm going to start bringing you content that is 
in my mind, some of the finest content this channel has ever seen. Truly. Enjoy, friends. Click the like button or don't do it. It's your own choice. Uh, let's do it. Let's get into this. I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> oh, friends. I'm so glad that, I, I mean, I'm so glad that the people who have been here have shared this journey with me and Morgan. Morgan, we, we're at the Tin Mans, friends. We're in Manitoba, all right? It's big sky country here. It's flat, like, I mean, flu, super flat. They got dirt highways here. We got a orangutan on us. As you know, I'm... I'm dirty from the day's adventures, friends. And uh, it was hot, super hot. And I loved every freaking minute of it. I think I lost four pounds today. Yeah, I do. Anyway, I'm in a good mood, as you can tell. I'm around Blenskins. I got my, hey, you know what? Did you just, okay, no, that, that better not have just happened. Friends, I have to put you down. No, I think I just saw a fly go in my Tim Hortons cup and I'm not having it. I'm not joking, you, friend. I think I did. I'm gonna put you in this thing, okay? I'm gonna flip you around and I'm gonna put you in it. We got some. We got some neat stuff going on here. Hang on. I'm not drinking out of that no more because the flat landed on there. It's just how it goes. Imagine how many things we've eaten, friends, after we're at parties and stuff or outdoor events, and flies are landing all over our food, and we're talking to our buddy. And he, yeah, yeah, right on. Take it easy. And, he, and, 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 and flies. Are, it's life. It happens. Friends, I got something pretty interesting to share with you. I'm very excited. I'm probably going to sweat because it is so freaking humid here right now. You wouldn't believe it. Honey, I miss you so much. Hogan, I'm so proud of you, boy. And I miss you dearly. And Rita, honey, <laughs> I miss my family so much. I love you people the most in the world. And I, I just, I miss you. I miss you. I do. And we're coming home. It ticks all over us. Ticks. There goes, oh, there's the highway. Gravel highway. One car. That was about an hour. Last car was about an hour ago. Friends, I, I, I'm going to, this might be a long video. This just might be a long video. Um, friends, do you remember when JK Boots reached out to me? And they told me they were going to make a pair of boots for me. Remember that? And uh, I, I didn't reach out to no, uh, nobody. I don't, I don't, I'm not looking for business. I'm not looking for, I, I just, I just do my thing. I, I've always just kind of done my thing and I get reached out to a lot just because of the size of the channel. That's what happens. And it's, it's flattering and I'm honored and thank you all, whoever has done that. And I said to my viewers and my friends and you beautiful people, I said, this is the year. Hit the comment section and give me a heck yeah if you remember me saying this. Probably, let's see, January, February, March. April, May, June. I think around April, maybe even sooner, don't know, don't remember, doesn't matter. But I said it. I said this is the year that I may even, I may even take a sponsorship. I don't know, may go crazy. Mosquitoes are mad in here. You ever catch a mosquito with your eyelid when you close your eyes? They're everywhere right now. Anyway, um, so this is the year. And anyways, so what happens is we all know Nick Boots, right? Nick's Boots? Yeah. I don't even know how we connected. I think it was Instagram. It was just like it, it, I'm sitting here trying to think about how we connected. And I can't tell you. I just can't tell you. I didn't reach out to them. I don't believe they reached out to me. I'm not sure. I think I might have commented on a video or they on my Instagram, something, but it happened and it was organic. Uh, regardless, friends, JK, they, you know the story and I'm not going to re reiterate that whole thing. They made a pair of boots for me. They came on real strong and he said he was going to make me a pair of boots that were way better than Vibergs. They'll be the best boots you ever got in the life, in your life and it's going to blow you away. Well, it, they weren't. They weren't. And it was all on the channel and everything was groovy. 
and he wasn't happy with that. So he made another pair and he did better. He did, he did better. And I gave him a bunch of kudos for, for it. Uh, Jim, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's JK anyways. I can't think of his name right now. Person, I, I, I don't have to forthrow all this information out, but I do, because that's just who I am, right? So I'm so freaking excited right now because Nick's boots, we all know Nick boots. I'm going to tell you something, uh, Grant. <laughs> he does a heck of a job of doing their uh, marketing. He does YouTube videos. He's kind of funny. He's a nice guy. They put out content, tons of videos. I started watching them. You know who else? You guys remember when I bought them freaking boots? This is a video about boots. Remember, um, do you know uh, Trenton and Heath? Those guys are groovy dudes. I think they were in... I don't know where they're from. Actually, as a matter of fact, I don't. But I like them. I believe they're brothers. And they are cobblers for crying out freaking loud. And I like them. I reached out to them and I have a pair of Viberg boots that I got new. But they've got a contractor sole on them or something weird sole that I won't use. And they said they would re-sole them for me. So they actually have my boots, my Vibergs. But as we all know, or if you don't, you do now. Vibergs not making work boots no more. Their program's kind of changed. And I was actually maybe hoping one day we could do something, me and Viberg. But I don't see that happening now because of where they're going. So, uh, love Vibergs. Had them on my feet for 25 years. I got a set sitting right here on the floor. I'm going to show them to you. And you've seen them. And we're going we're gonna to do a little Nick's boots thing here. Let's do it. I'm excited. I've not tried these boots on. I cracked the freaking packaging open. There's a box right here. And the cool thing is, is they actually sent them to me. I'm going to get eaten by mosquitoes. This might be uncomfortable, but we're doing it. Now, I don't know how these fit, but I did open them up because that's the kind of guy I am because I had to look. Here they are. A complete set. And, and what this is, friends, they don't know my, they don't know my size or they know my size. But this is a, a pair of boots that we're going to... Ah, I see he, he got me the big eye. Yes, he did. He did so. Here they are. They're right here. And they're as good as they said they would be. I like these a lot. They're brown. And oh my goodness. Okay, good. He's got the toe that keeps its shape. Now, friends, you all know, and I won't bore you with the details... Um, they didn't have, they didn't have the equipment to, to do my old school Kelties. I like, I like my old school Kelties. They, they just don't have that. They don't do, they don't do Kelties like I like my Kelties. Okay. And they found a big eye for me so that I could do my loggers not on them. Friends, I'm freaking right now. These are beautiful. Th these guys make nice boots. They just do. So I was excited. I had a bunch of people kind of reach out to me. And, and say, Bakken, you know, have you tried Nick's boots? And I'm like, no, I haven't, but I've sure heard about them. I mean, you always hear about them. They're always, you know, on, on, the, on the internet and the YouTubes. And, and, and they make nice boots because I can see these here now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try them on. Um, we're hoping, this is kind of a fit, a fit size boot. We're going to see if these will fit me. And if they don't, they're going to make me another pair, a, a set that will fit. So I'm, I see that these are long enough. I can tell already by looking at them. They're, they're plenty long. They are actually. They look very similar to these. My only concern now is they might be a little narrow just by looking at them. I've been wearing boots my whole life, friends, and I can tell by looking at a pair of boots now how they're gonna fit my feet. I can. Uh, it's just how things go when you do something for a long period of time. This is a different style of boot, as you can see. This is a stitch down design, uh, construction, sorry, stitch down. You see how they roll them out and they stitch them. Viberg is not. It's a stitch down underneath. They go under. And that's why I really like this style of boot. So, but I'm telling you, I asked for a couple things. Uh, man, oh man, I, I've had black boots my whole life, friends. I have, but. Daniel, Daniel, son, Daniel. These guys, I asked them to leave <laughs> the leather clear. I like that, friends. I, I really do. That is beautiful. So anyway, friends, you know, I I can't knock JK. And not, even if I could knock him, I wouldn't because that's not the person I am. Um, I find that part of the internet quite sad, actually. I really do. 
The first pair I couldn't wear. I could not wear them. I was actually tripping over them. This great big huge platform thing was massive. It was huge and it just didn't work. And he made me another pair and it was better. They did a better job, but they're just not for me. I, 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 again, I, I, I don't want to say much more than that. It just didn't work out. That's all. They, they just didn't work out. Um, they're not for me. Um, but I have been in contact with Nick's and I'm, I'm very happy with what I see here. This is much better. You can see they, they made the, I guess they call it a Celastic toe or a st Stelastic or something. I don't know, but I'm trying these boots on for the first freaking time and I'm excited. But you know what the funny thing is? He knew, he knew that he could not, he tried to make these Kelties for me. They're not going to work. I don't like them. I just don't like them. He, he knew that. He told me right away, he goes, Buckin, I don't think you're going to like them Kelties. Not my best work. Not a big deal. You know what he did? I'll show you what he did. This is what he did. He sent me some leather. So guess what I'm going to do? Of course I'm going to do this. Of course I'm going to do it. Oh, there goes, there goes an eye right there. These boots need help. Good. Okay. There's that. So friends, I'm going to build my Kelty. I'll be right back. You've seen me do this before, actually. Okay. We working? Whoa. Friends, shall we? Let's meet in the middle. I'm thinking, I'm thinking here. Daniel, freaking son. Okay. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There's that one. Guilty. Rock on, sucker. Friends, so so check this out. Th this is, I, I know this isn't, you know, th these are loggers boots, friends, okay? Th this is, this is what, this is old school. Okay, you see the Kelty, what I'm talking about? Okay. Brand new though, stiff, not worn in, they haven't curled, they haven't done anything. That, my friends, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I may do a touch bit of trim, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. Check this out from the side. That right there is old school. That's just it right there for me. The Kelty makes it for me, friends. I'm just not into these little diamond cut things and, and, and stuff like that. It doesn't work for me. Um, these boots, um, Grant, from Nyx, buddy, I, I, I gotta thank you. They're very, very nice. I've worn Vibers and Dayton's my whole life. And, uh... I'm very excited. I'm very excited and I thank you so much for for all the effort and the extra little goodies that you did for me. Look at that top eye, friends, right there. See, right here, this top eye right there. That's for the loggers knot. This axe works nice. Look at that, Tin Man. Oh, 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 yeah. That's interesting, what, brother? There you go, yeah, the flick. But they've just met me, friends. Nick's have just met me and they were kind enough to try and make me something that I could be proud of and stand up tall in. And I'm telling you right now, this is nice. And I and, and Grant, honestly, thank you. As we know, the JK boots did not work out for me. Uh, nice family, I, li I like JK's family. But uh, it just didn't work out. Uh, these do. These mosquitoes are getting out of control. <laughs> Look at that, my friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Logger's not 101. 
Make an eye. Go through the great big eye that they provided for Buck and Billy Ray as a special option. You guys, uh, Nick's boots um, with, with that. Grant, you've made a big difference at that place. Dude, come on. Come on. So I don't need all this. Snip. Snip. Just don't need it. I make these like that. And they go like this, to clank, and I just don't, I don't have them that long. I leave just enough so that I can leave an eye, so that when I get home from work, B, I just grab on these friends, I grab on them suckers, grab these and, and go when I want to loosen them off. There is my new Nyx boots, and I am telling you, friends, these are gummed up. I'm going to wear them around the rest of the night and break these suckers in. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helped you. And if you're out in the bush and you want to don't lose your laces and you bend over tying your laces all the time, get onto the logger's knot. Over and out. Because Nick's did me a turn, a real good turn. They put me the big fat eye in there for the logger's knot. And I thank you guys. Grant, nice job, brother. Really nice boot. I've already got my homemade Kelties on there. I'm an old school fella, as you guys know. I just, that's who I am. But Grant, buddy, I mean, seriously, thank you. Thank you. I'm in freaking Manitoba and my boots show up on my road trip. Buddy, thanks so much. We had a wicked day today. Friends, be kind. We'll talk to you soon. There'll be more on this coming up soon. Thanks, Nick's Boots and Grant. <laughs>